Okay, a friend of mine wants me to uh, read this. Uh, do a rant. Don't know what's going to accomplish, but anyway, this certainly hit home. This is 2013, but his story is right. If the public knew the injured worker stories, they would be shocked and disgusted. I certainly could tell tell one. Yep. What's the story? Doctor calls work safe New Brunswick practice a human rights issue. Of course it is. Of course it is. Now, 2016. 2013. Doctor refused to see work safe and be patient. A senior pain specialist at a Moncton hospital is refusing to see injured workers because he says they can't they stand no chance of getting their treatment approved by WorkSafe New Brunswick. But that is true, especially if you work for Mr. Irving. Mr. Irving and Frank McKenna, they were very close in changing the rule for uh, workers' comp compensation. Monsieur Richard Dumais, head of the St. George, George Dumont University Hospital Pain Clinic says denial of medical service has become a human rights issue and he's calling for political answers. What year is this? 2013? Yeah. Practice for New Brunswick 22 years. Work safe used to be okay to deal with but in the past 10 years they stopped taking advice. It becomes so difficult and frustra frustrating He's been asking for an investigation from the minister responsible. 2013, that would have been a conservative. Four months ago, four months ago, Dumit decided he won't take work safe and be patient anymore. Of course, because he just, he's too busy to uh, take care of patients and uh, whatever they do with the, uh, with the, uh, the poor victims of work of workers' compensation, uh, they don't pay attention to the damn professional advice anyway. He said it's not fair to tell an injured worker that he or she needs treatment, only to have it almost certainly rejected by Work Safe New Brunswick. It's a political nightmare for these people, and rather than but people tr put people through that. At this point, I decided it would probably be better if I don't see them at all. This was 2013. WorkSafe evaluates patient with his own team doctor and in-house professional, including doctors, occupational therapists, speech impairment, this this guy here, other rehabilitation experts, and Lise Malafal. Lise Belafon, Work Safe New Brunswick Regional Director. Of course, they, they're all Irving. She said there are treatments. She said they are mandate to improve treatment related only to the workplace injury. I don't think the doctors are wrong. I think there is a misunderstanding. Of course, a misunderstanding. You say you got hurt on the job, and uh, next thing you know, the company, the Irving, says, no, you didn't. So there's your misunderstanding right there. There is a misunderstanding of how the system works. And our medical advisors, that's Irving advisors, are there to try to explain that to them. Oh, yes, yes, of course they do. And then, you know, it's bullshit. When asked by CBC News if she thought doctors view and work safe New Brunswick as an opportunity to address issues and go beyond the injury, Malance said she wasn't sure she would call it an opportunity. I just think that maybe because they're not in our system that they don't necessarily draw that line the same place we would draw that line. Of course not. They would draw the line by facts, look at the estray, look at the facial expression of the person, and knowing what's a con artist and what is not, the doctor knows who the true injured workers are. Workers con Irving, workers' compensation says, oh, no, 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 we got the professional. Uh, charge employer, one of the lowest rates in Canada. It cut premiers by 50% last year. That's 2013. But money doesn't factor in claim evaluation yeah, rate. 
She said WordSafe New Brunswick has never been told the number of claims it is approving is too high and then it needs to lower the number of claim. WordSafe New Brunswick who get said workers who get rejected can always appeal. The backlog has been reduced to a six months wait and the success rate is around 90%. All BS, um, we got a major problem here. There's a lot of people also committing suicide. They're, uh, they're not paying attention. And even today I hear of a case that's not work safe. It's another case that uh, they said that the uh, muscles separated from the bone in the arm of a person. And they said, oh, healthcare can't cover it. I'm sorry, jumping here. Had a few candies tonight. But WorkSafe New Brunswick is a major, major problem. I know a case that uh, this guy won his appeal. They've been fighting and fighting and they're still fighting. And they lost their home. They, 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 it's a sad, sad story. So is there anybody else out there that has a problem with WorkSafe New Brunswick in the year 2017? This is 2013. Uh, copyright, the uh, CBC.